Thanks for joining us here on Monday afternoon with the latest here on uh, potentially catastrophic Category 5 Hurricane Melissa, uh, now located just about 140 miles southwest of Kingston, Jamaica, here in the uh, Caribbean Sea. A uh, very powerful hurricane this afternoon with maximum sustained winds of around 175 miles per hour. You see the well-defined eye here in satellite imagery. And Melissa has started to move a little more to the north now. The motion is around northwest at about three miles per hour. If you remember earlier today, it was moving west. So we're starting to see that turn to the north and then the north-northeast. It's going to bring the center of Melissa uh, to the south coast of Jamaica uh, early Tuesday morning. We're going to first focus on the multiple life-threatening hazards that are in play for Jamaica. We have a hurricane warning. And with the forecast track of Melissa expected to bring the center to the coast, sometimes early Tuesday, we're expecting destructive winds in the uh, eye wall of Melissa as it makes landfall and moves across the island. So we can have complete uh, damage, uh, destruction of, sh of, uh, of, of shelters, uh, homes, and buildings uh, in the path of that eye wall, not just along the coast, but in areas of high terrain across the central part of the island as the center of Melissa moves across the island during the day on Tuesday. So that hurricane warning is in place. Everyone in Jamaica needs to be in their safe place now to ride out the storm all the way through tomorrow. We're also very concerned about the potential for life-threatening storm surge inundation near and to the right of where the center crosses the south coast early tomorrow with the potential for 9 to 13 feet of inundation, uh, especially in areas like the Black River uh, Bay and uh, farther east. And we're also expecting destructive wave action along the coast as well and significant storm surge all the way well east of the center uh, over in the Kingston area. In terms of the rainfall threat, we've been talking about this for several days. The potential uh, for widespread rainfall totals of 15 to 30 inches. This area you see highlighted in pink is a 20 to 30 inch rainfall forecast. So very dangerous, uh, life-threatening, catastrophic flash flooding, widespread landslides expected across Jamaica. We could see some isolated locations that have rainfall totals in excess of 40 inches, especially near where the core of Melissa moves across the island and uh, that strong onshore flow. Uh, interacts with the mountainous topography of the island as well. So again, storm surge, flooding rainfall, and the destructive hurricane force winds. If we zoom out a little bit and take a wider view of the impacts we're seeing outside of Jamaica, uh, that heavy rainfall threat exists in southern portions of Hispaniola. We are expecting uh, Melissa, as, after it moves off the north coast of Jamaica, to make landfall uh, in southeastern Cuba sometime overnight Tuesday night and Wednesday morning as a major hurricane. So we have hurricane warnings in effect from Granma and Holguin provinces eastward to Guantanamo. And then beyond that now we have new hurricane warnings that have been issued for the central and southeastern Bahamas, expecting Melissa to move through those areas, especially the southeastern Bahamas as a hurricane as we go from two, a Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday night and Thursday. Um, switching to the rainfall forecast here, uh, in portions of eastern Cuba, very, very heavy rainfall expected 10 to 20 inches, isolated amounts as high as 25 inches. Again, catastrophic flood, flash flooding and landslides likely. And back here in Hispaniola, expecting some portions of southwestern Haiti to again uh, see possible rainfall totals as high as 40 inches, expecting 6 to 12 additional inches in southern portions of the Dominican Republic and the southwest peninsula of Haiti. So that rainfall threat in Hispaniola is going to continue well into Tuesday and even Wednesday as the center of Melissa moves out into the Atlantic. And then if we look out even longer in time, we could see Melissa threaten Bermuda later in the week in the Thursday to Thursday night time frame. So just wrapping up with the key messages here on this Monday afternoon, focusing on Jamaica, everybody there needs to remain in safe shelter. Do not venture outside with catastrophic life-threatening flash flooding and numerous landslides expected through, th through Tuesday. The eye wall will bring destructive winds on shore, not just at the coast, but into mountainous areas as well. Do not go out in the eye as it passes over your area. Uh, the forward speed of Melissa is gonna increase and the eye is gonna start to move very quickly across the island. And this is gonna to lead to widespread infrastructure damage, prolonged power outages, communication outages, and isolated communities. So it's gonna be a very dangerous post-storm environment. So for uh, residents in all these areas, please heed advice from your local government officials, your local meteorological service, and keep coming back here to the National Hurricane Center at hurricanes.gov for the latest on Melissa. Thanks for joining us, I'm Mike Brennan.